Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, the Lord. I want to look at Numbers, the 12th chapter, in the first verse. It says, And Mary and Aaron, and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married. For he had married an Ethiopian woman. And they said, Hath the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses? Hath he not spoken also by us? And the Lord heard it. Now the man Moses was very meek above all men which were upon the face, amen, of the earth. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron and to Miriam, Come out ye thee, thee three unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they came out, and the Lord came down in the pillar of cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in visions and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all mine house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently and not in dark speeches, and in the similitude of the Lord shall he behold. Wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them. Amen. And he departed. The anger of the Lord was the kindle against Aaron and Moses. And we see here the bigger picture. It wasn't so much, hallelujah, but it was part of the problem that he married an Ethiopian, but it's because of jealousy and pride. Sometimes you can let jealousy and pride come in, hallelujah, and it's coming in the house of God that you will go against, amen, your leadership. You will go against one another and start speaking ill upon them, start speaking ill upon their name. God, hallelujah, said, I said, high and I look low. I see what's going on. You might think I don't see, said the Lord. You might think I don't hear, said the Lord, but I see and I hear all things. Glory be to God. And we see here God called out Aaron, amen, and Miriam, and he let it be known, glory be to God, that I speak to my prophets in dreams, amen, and in visions. He said in a sense, hallelujah, Moses is greater than that, hallelujah. I speak to him face to face. Be mindful of who you're messing with, hallelujah. Be mindful who you are in this and jealous of. Be mindful, hallelujah, of what you're doing to one another because you don't know who and what they are in the sight of God. Unto you, they may be a mere woman and a mere man, but unto God, they are his precious jewel. He says, touch not my anointing, to do my prophet no harm. He said, it's better than a stone be around your neck. Didn't you offend the least one of them? And God, hallelujah, is not playing about his. God is not playing about them, hallelujah, that belongs to him. Even in the body of Christ, there is so much schism, there's so much envy and jealousy going on, hallelujah. But be careful of what you do and what you say against the man and the woman of God. And the Lord said, hallelujah, that he was going to, my God, allow leprosy to come upon Marion, and she was going to be separated from her people. Moses, hallelujah, went to God on their behalf. Moses went to God on her behalf. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. You might be going through something and it might be because you have wronged, amen, the woman or the man of God. Go back to them and get it right so that they can pray and pray it off of you so that they can pray and it be lifted. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Moses had to go to God on Miriam's behalf. Hallelujah. For God to move the leprosy. God honored, hallelujah, her prayer, hallelujah, his prayer, but God said she will yet, hallelujah, be separated for seven days so that she can understand, so that she can realize what she have done. Some of you are going through things, hallelujah, for God to get your attention and help you to understand you just came wrong, a man and woman of God. You cannot, hallelujah, just do what you want to do to that that belongs to God, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus, evaluate what you're going through and why you're going through what you're going through. If you have 
wrong the man and woman of God. Go to them and ask for forgiveness so that they may so that they may go to God on your behalf. Hallelujah. And lift it off of you. The Bible says be careful for nothing. Be careful for nothing. Saints of God, don't let pride destroy you. Don't let jealousy destroy you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. One of the seven things that God hates, and that is a prideful spirit. Don't let pride, hallelujah, take you to hell. Don't let pride cause you to be separated from God and the things God has for you. Hallelujah. God is saying, get it right. Get it right. Hallelujah. We have to get it right before men and then bring our gift to the altar. I love you on today. Hallelujah. I'm praying on I'm praying for you today. I love you and may heaven forever smile upon you is my prayer. Be careful for nothing in Jesus name.